Hello there, here and today we're going to play the Shape of Happiness. This is a game developed by Kantus Mori, who have also developed games such as Froggy Pod, which you can check on the card above. Interesting. I think this game takes a few hours to finish, which is... Mm, I wonder how they like cook this up. So, yeah. Let's start playing the game, shall we? It was just an ordinary day like any other. Carrying my backpack, I walk along the streets with a chilly wind blowing at my hair and face. Hmm, it should be around this location somewhere. My footsteps take me down an, an unfamiliar path. Yet the familiar pattern of the zebra crossing spurs me forward. What? Peter Patter, the sound of my footsteps hitting the concrete road. My mind wanders as my light continues moving forward. It's been a long time since I've paid any attention to traffic. I haven't been in this part of town before, eh? You should pay attention to traffic, you know? Something isn't quite right. But what? A truck? Before I lost all consciousness, I saw... That's cool. The world warping around me for a split second. Before everything faded to black. You could say that I... Cro you still get time to make jokes? <laughs> Cross the line. Wait, where? What? Where? What do we do? No. Wait, where? P. P. Shrugs. Home. Home. Oh. Where? What? Ah, uh, cough, cough. Uh, uh huh. I'm alive. I don't know, but we'll see. Wait, since when did did the world look so white? Or maybe it's more apt to say that I whited up. Why? Thank goodness no one is here to hear my bad puns. I'm here! I'm here! I can hear your bad puns! I got hit by a truck and lost conscious consciousness for a while. And when I woke up, the world became like this. Oh no. Something must be wrong with my eyes. And I don't seem to see the pro The problem. Okay. Actually, I don't really see anything at all. I'm standing in what seems to be a white room that stretches infinitely. I don't think that's a problem with your sight only, right there, but alright. Did I actually die? Or am I dreaming? You could say you're dreaming. I don't know if that's a good... Okay, shut. But it feels like too real to be a dream. What should I do? Is this multiple ending? Is this, is this multiple ending? BRB. Okay, no, this is not a multiple ending visual novel, but it has some direct deviations with all the choices. Look around, actually there's nothing to see. It's probably a dream after all. Time to take, to take a nap. That's right, there's no way this is real. If this is a dream, then surely I'll wake up eventually. I guess I'll take a nap until then. Me, 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 me. I close my eyes and try to dream of sweet things, but it is difficult to do so. Hours seems to pass as I drift in and out of consciousness until exhaustion sets in. Passing and turning until time to s seems to slow down till eternity, but still I did not sleep. Stomach rumbles. Okay, so you can still feel hungry. I've lied here for so long, I'm hungry. It's not a dream after all. You gotta find food. What's that over there? Yeah. A piece of paper lies on the floor. A piece of paper? Useless. I can't eat it. It's a it's clue. Um, let's see. My goodness, what is this atrocious handwriting? <laughs> okay. And then suddenly a huge gust of wind started blowing. Ah the paper <laughs> I love that animation. That's actually so funny. <laughs> I took a leap of faith in an attempt to catch the paper. Oh. Huh. And it seems that my faith was ungrounded. Quite literally. Quite literally. Why? Why? Oh god, no. 
The line on the ground beneath me is the border between ground and air. The whole room was white, so how could would I know there's a light? No, you know. <laughs> Sorry, I was taking a little break because uh, I got a food delivery, so yeah, I'm just munching a little bit of drink. Well, it's not a food delivery then, it's a drink delivery. But you get a point. Well, you will say that I... Don't say it, don't say it. Don't, don't, do not, do not say it. Cross the line again. Ha <laughs> ha. God damn. Chapter 1, Ship of Stars. Interesting. This is... This is a warm, fluffy blanket. I'm home. This warmth, I... Grandma? I hear a vague voice around me and familiar voices. Ah, they're awake! I've never seen a ship like them before, so cool! Wait, wait August, we don't know if it's safe to... Hey, quiet down, everyone. I feel something poke my cheek. Ah. <laughs> I'm home? Ah. Ah! <laughs> I woke up to a bunch of people with sheep hats. Wait, are they even people? The square shaped one has their head against their hand against my cheek. Ah, it must be really a dream. Really be a dream after all. Time for a round two of naps. Good night! I cross my eyes and let my body fall back into the fluffy bed. It's what I thought. Wait, you're gonna fall asleep again! The strange square shape and the squishes my cheek gently. Gasp! I'm not dreaming? Gasp! Sergahat begins to speak. August, stop! You're scaring them! Wh who are you all? What are you all? Hey now, don't be rude! Triangle Head finally speaks up. So sorry! Ah, cinnamon. Um, I think we shall take a step back first. Circle, there's cinnamon. I'm August, but you know that already. Sparrow. I'm back. That must be indigo. Uh, um, uh, brain is processing. I don't know, one shape like a diamond enters the room carrying a bag of groceries. Upon seeing me, they immediately drop their groceries under the floor in an exaggerated manner. What is that? <laughs> don't you be rude to them too, Indigo? Yeah, don't be rude, Indigo. Oh yeah, and we picked them off the floor just now. What? what? Suddenly I'm the rude one now? Yes. Pick me off the floor? A soft voice calls out from behind the crowd. It is peculiar indeed. Well, what is your name? Strange one who fell from the skies? I fell from the sky? Yeah. Name... My name is... Cass... Cassie. Oh! Cassie? Oh, uh, is that a strange name? In our world, I suppose it is a little odd, yes. Welcome to our merry gang then, for... We all have weird names. Um, names like ours are not so common here. Aha. Uh -huh. Indeed, I suppose that is how we all met in the first place, hmm? Mm-hmm. Really? I think your name sounds very normal to me. I mean, in comparison to... To what? This situation, I mean. Okay, I thought you were going to mention someone else's name. When we found each other names, we naturally form a group despite being different shapes. Since you have a weird name too, you can join us, I guess. Sparrow, that's... Welcome, Cassie, to the Association of Strange Sounds. Oh, is that the name of your group? Nope, I think I've hidden the spot. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's great. That's cool. Association of Strange Sounds. Wait a moment, doesn't it spell that S? Okay. Ass. 
S for association. SFN. Stop, please. SFN. Fantastic name. S anyway. Yeah. What, what what are you gonna do about it? Anyway. We saw you fall from the sky just now. It was really scary. Thankfully, you seem fine. Just what happened? Ignore the strange event of a note unfolding in front of me right now. I speak. I got into an accident, woke up in this white room, and then I fell off a ledge, I think. And then I woke up here. I feel fine, though. It's so bizarre, almost as if I went into another world. So would you say that what happened to you was... No. Out of this world? That's, that's pretty mild. No. No. I come on, surely that's better than August's ass joke. Oh, it's, it's not a joke. Well, well, in any case, Cassie, if you came from another world, then that certainly explains your odd shape. My shape? I don't know, Cassie seems to be in good shape to me. Oh, okay. No, not that kind of shape, you silly square. Scythe, mirror, just look at yourself. And I go punch the mirror and my eyes trail their tiny hands instinctively. They're so round. Turning my attention to the mirror, I see myself for the first time in this strange world. This is me? Wait, you look different in the real world? That's even more interesting. Oh. <laughs> my face and form have become all blobby like mochi. I try to grab my hair and face and everything feels smooth to the touch. Soft. I haven't taken a good look at myself lately, but... I didn't expect it to be like this. This is so cool! All my blemishes are gone and my hair is so long and fluffy! My body also feels rising light, as if I weight no more than a feather. Is it because I become... cutie? Oh no! Sorry, we didn't mean to be rude about your shape. So you seem pretty happy about it? Yep, a shape of happiness. Haha. <laughs> Sparrow voice cuts me out of my momentary daydream. No, no, it's alright. I'm not bothered by it. We've never seen, seen a shape like you before. A shape with so many polygons! No, no, I wouldn't say they are polygon. But as I was saying, you don't like, look like a shape that exists in our world. And I'm not sure how exactly you get into our world either. Nika looks at the others who shrug their shoulder in response. Seems like no one knows much. What do you think, Cinnamon? Cinnamon? I turn around and notice the cinnamon had been looking at me all this time with a puzzled expression. They look like they are thinking about something. Stairs back. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh. Uh, oh. Sorry for staring at just... You're human, aren't you? Oh. Y yeah, I am. I'm a human from Earth. What's a human? Are they a kind of shape too? I wonder. I don't really know. Maybe I've heard of human somewhere in a book. I never a human shape existed. Oh, you forgot to show me the book sometimes, Cinnamon. So, Cassie is a human shape. Hungry. Ah. Uh, the conversation comes to a halt when my stomach growls. I've almost forgotten just how hungry I had been. She didn't have a lighter run in that white room for so long. So hungry. And her stomach growling can be heard. Wait, that wasn't me. I'm feeling hungry too. Shall we talk more over some snacks then? I suppose I'm feeling a little peckish myself. To the pantry we go. Woo. I turn around to find that August had already carried the grocers to the table and is now eagerly shifting through them. Shifting through them? Everyone gathers a table, each grabbing a packet of food. Ta-da! Copy side. 314? Oh, P. Oh, ah. Oh, what's this? Uh, have you not seen this before? It's a compi side. A com what? A co compi side. It is a compi side, com side because it is a food that can be molded from many shapes. And it's called pie because the owner is circle shape, or so I've heard. It's really good. Hmm. A 
part of me still thinks this is all some delirious dream I'm having from being too tired. But right now this feeling isn't too bad. Yep. If this is some strange dream, then so be it. Yum 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 yum. Dun 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 dun. Cassie. Yeah? You're really hungry, right? You should take the bi this bigger piece instead. You look like you were dizzy from hunger just now. Indigo hands me a large compy side. Ah, thank you! I've off done the compy side in mere minutes. Goodness, just how did you get this hungry? Alright, before I get hit by a dead vehicle, I haven't eaten anything. And then I slept a lot in the bedroom thinking this was all a dream. Time, so I still kind of think it is. You get knocked into another dimension and your first instinct is to sleep. I mean... Human shapes are truly fascinating. So I think I used to know someone who was just as peculiar as you are. Used to? Um, I don't know now, I can't remember much to be honest. Everything feels a little hazy. Cuff. Anyway, how's the campsite? The campsite site is fluffy and soft with an amazing soft texture. And yet it doesn't have any taste at all. Taste? Yeah, like have some food tastes salty, bitter, sweet, but this kampai site doesn't really taste like anything. It's like eating air, but more dense in feeling. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, not to be rude or anything, though, the texture is amazing. Cassie, what do you mean by salty or bitter or sweet? No way! Does it mean all food in this world has no taste? That's so sad. Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean, but yes, they all taste the same. Food is food after all, but what makes Kompai side so special is how fluffy and amazing they are. Uh, so just texture then. That one do, you all have never tasted all the wonders food versus the world has to offer. And so we can you to eat as I begin to share all the different flavors of food on earth. I... I miss it all so much. I remember it all so fondly. Amazing, I didn't know there were so many furthest of food in your world, Cassie. One day maybe I'd like to visit. Visit art, huh? I think Composite will still be better though. If that case speaks out seems similar to Composites but with a fascinating twist. Seems like something you'd be interested in, August. August? August has already finished with their second Composite and moving on to the third. What? Munch 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 munch. That settles it. I've made up my mind. Oh, but what? I know how it's like to miss delicious food. If I were in your shoes, I would feel really sad about not being able to eat food from Earth. Oh, but I don't think we have the same sushi size. Oh, okay. As the captain of the ass, I'll help. Ass, okay. I'll help you find a way back home. I promise. Okay, but why are you the captain all of a sudden? Do you want to be the butt captain? The ass captain? Huff, shaking quietly with laughter. Come on, it's a fan. Fantastic name! More like an astronomically bad name. Uh, I swear to god. I think it's a pretty badass name. It is a pretty badass, no? Finally, some. <laughs> I love how. <laughs> yeah, they're just like laughing. Finally, someone who understands. I think it is badass without that ass part. Not like your jokes are any better. Well, I'm trying my best, okay. And I guess taking it so seriously. Anyway, August, do you even have any idea how to send SC back to Earth? Nope. Is that even possible? I don't know, but I'm sleepy. I'll sleep on it. Okay, let us assemble after sleeping. Holding by laughter. After all, every day you waking bring forth new... Possibilities! Ah, uh, thank you so much everyone. This is what having just met, you're all doing so much for me. I'm truly grateful. Oh, don't mention it. We haven't done anything yet anyway. How oh, about you give me that big combi side? Well, yes. Oh, shuck, it's no trouble at all. Yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, actually, can I say some things about this world? Oh, what you... What would you like to know? Why are you all shapes? How does time flow here? Is it day or night now? What do you all do normally? 
But how does time flow here? Now, oh, time? I'm asking because I want to know what day it will be if I ever get back to Earth. I've heard of some stories where different worlds have different concepts of time. Going to one world for a whole year might only result in one minute back on Earth. Or I read too many fantasy novels. There's no way for you to confirm it either way, right? Well, I have all the time in the world anyway. Time? No, that's a hard one. Why so? It's hard to say how time really flows here. But I suppose if I had to describe it, I guess time flows really, really slowly. I can't say for sure how it flows compared to Earth. Why are all the shapes? Well, that's like asking why are why you are human. Well, it's because we've got a great figure. We are just born like that, That I think. How are sharks born anyway? You know, ever since we existed, we were shapes. That's all there is to it. Huh, okay. Is it day or night now? It's hard to tell if it's day or night here. Um, we have to go outside and see if the star ships are up in the sky. You mean the sky doesn't become dark here when it's nighttime? Nope, it's always the same bright sky. Um, can see are there stars on Earth too? Yeah, tons of stars. That sounds nice. There used to be a lot more stars here too. What happened to the stars? We don't know, but these days there are less stars up at night. Sometimes it's hard to tell what day it is, so we determine the, the day by every waking. Waking? Yeah, every time you wake up. What do you all do normally? Uh, what? What What was that? Give me a moment. Uh, I feel like there's a error or something. Okay, I think there's no error. All right, then. I'm really grateful that you are helping me. But I would feel really bad if I were to take time off of whatever you're all doing. No, it's no trouble at all. There's nothing to do here, really. Nothing at all? Yeah, pretty much. In fact, you being here makes it a little less boring. So don't worry about it. I don't have anything to ask. That's all I want to know. Good night, everyone. Sleep dreams. Sleep well. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Cassie, we'll wait. Yeah? What's up? Can I ask? You really came from Earth because of an accident? What were you doing beforehand? Um, yeah, Liab, like I mentioned, I was just walking and got hit by a vehicle. The next thing I knew, I was here. I see. Hey, Cinnamon, you coming? Oh, never mind then. Good night, Cass. Good night. Do you know something? Everyone dispersed on their own room. There's a window beside the bed I slip in. I look up at the sky, a few star shapes can be seen. The sky, it looks so different from the one I knew. It looks empty. And a little lonely. What a strange world. Um, huh? Uh, the night sky back on Earth. Is always filled with stars. I miss stargazing with Grandma. I want to go home. But home is a place I cannot reach anymore. Why? A place that is far away. I have to return to Earth. So that I can find that place. That's really good. I'll do it. I'll definitely make it back. The truck, it must mean that I was close to my destination. Why? How? Chapter 2 The Ship of Friends. The next waking. Ah, interesting. Alright, I suppose, like, considering the length. That was around 30 minutes, right? I still could go for another chapter. The next waking. Good morning? Oh, is no one awake yet? It doesn't particularly feel like morning, though. The room is just as bright as when I came here. Um, I don't want to wake the rest up. Maybe I'll go walk around. Hmm, are these stairs? Well, I guess we'll then hurt to take a look. 
It's time to take exploration to the next level. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't a very good pun. At the top of the stairs, it's, it's an opening to the roof of the building. Oh. Wow, is this a town? For the first time I get a good look outside. It's all shapes. It looks very, uh, artistic. The shapes scattered haphazardly all around town form all sorts of alleys and walkways. And in the center, floating above everything, is what looks like a huge tower. Amazing! How is it suspended like that? I look around a bit more and notice someone here with me. Huh? Is that... Underside of the roof is the shape of a friend. They're holding a little notebook, jotting down something while looking down at the town. Cinnamon! Cassie? You're awake early too? Um, I usually come here to stretch my legs and look at the scenery. I never expected you to come here too. What are you doing? I'm just counting. Counting what exactly? The number of buildings. And the shapes going in and out of them. I'm making sure I didn't lose track of them day after day. But why though? Because memories is a fading thing here? Because of the mysterious disappearances of late. There are some strange phenomenon happening in the shape world lately. Sometimes certain buildings or ships will disappear completely after a single day. And no one really knows why it's happening. Ah. And you're writing all that down because... I don't want to forget everything and everyone that live here. This world... Is it in danger? Not yet, but... Yes. At this rate, it will only be a matter of time before it's... This feeling is all too familiar. You know, if the shape world is, um... Maybe the shapes can come live on Earth instead? Are you saying that you want the shape world to be destroyed? No, no, that wasn't my intention. That wasn't what I... No, no, I... I'm sorry. I guess Andrea should be waking up soon, you should go join them. Oh. What about you? I think I'll go take a walk. It's okay, I'll come join you all for a bit. Oh, okay. Scythe. Good waking, Cassie! Ah, you're all awake now. Everyone get us together. So, August, sleeping bring you any new ideas? Yes, in fact, I have been thinking about it in my dreams. In your dreams, okay. Oh, you have a plan? Wait, where's Cinnamon? Oh, Cinnamon says they're uh, going out for a walk. Oh, you have already talked to Cinnamon? Yeah, on the roof just now. You two must be the earliest one to wake up. Cinnamon is always busy as usual. There is an awful lot to do here, but Cinnamon always wants stuff to do. Not sure they'll be fine. Anyway, I guess you're ready. Cassie, you said you fell from a really high place, right? The room high in the sky where you walk a legend fell. I did. I was really living on life on the edge. <laughs> what? What? What about it? Then I'm sure that you... I guess everyone's just silent. That you've already seen it from the roof. I was thinking that maybe you fell from that huge building tower, tower way up in the sky. That makes sense. I was also thinking about that. And some ideas to take this plan. To the next level. Hey, both have the same... No way, I just made the exact same joke earlier this morning. <laughs> yeah. And by next level, I mean quite literally. All we gotta do is... Fly you back up in the sky. Sounds easy enough, how do we do it? That's... That's absurd. That's genius! Whoa. How does that work? Yes, do explain Captain of the Yes. It is quite simple, really. Look, I even drew us a di diagram. Uh, question mark. We'll find some kind of vehicle that us fly let us fly, and then fly Cassie up in the skies into that really, really high tower. And when Cassie reaches range, we find a portal leading back to Earth. Actually, doesn't that sound a little too simple? What well, can I say? I'm a symbol shape with a symbol plan. A portal to Earth? 
It does seem rather far-fetched. Even so, I'm willing to give it a try. Oh, Cassie! So, how can we fly them? I haven't thought it that far yet. It would be very difficult to actually pull it off. My goodness, have you lot lost your minds? Scythe. In that case, count me in, I suppose. I'm surprised you agreed. Well, I can be pretty open-minded to shape sometimes. I guess Indy goes. Stop. Indy going with us after all. Indy go. But before that, Cass. Yeah? We shall also consider other possibilities. Do you remember anything else about that white room? Hmm. There's a paper. Come to think of it, there was something, wasn't it? That's right, I found their shapes in the letter. A piece of paper. A piece of paper, you say? That sounds like it could be a clue. Do you still have it with you? No, no, I lost it. Do you remember if anything is written on it? Oh, oh no, I don't remember anything written on it. Oh my goodness. That room must have erased your memories. I just calm down, your head is shrinking. What? what? Somehow I doubt that memory erasing room exists. Well, if we keep our eyes peeled, maybe we can find the lost paper. Say, is there any place here we can find papers? Like a stationery sh shop or something? Nope, there isn't a place that sells like them like they sell comp pie sites. Wow, I didn't know how papers were such a rare community commodity here. Oh, they are not rare at all. In fact, they are kind of kind of in abundance, that's why no place sells them. It's not that it's rare, it's just that there's only one place we can find paper. A paper forest. A paper forest? Yep, the paper forest north of here is filled with paper trees. So the rumors surrounding it are even more interesting. You know that big floating tower? Very rarely paper planes have been spotted flying out of it. Those paper planes will fly and sometimes land in the ground in the paper forest. We can write them, right? Maybe. They take root in the ground and spot new pieces of paper growing the paper forest. And so there are a bunch of paper and planes just lying around in that area. In town, all kind of rumors begin sorting about a tower. Some shape claims to have seen other shapes living tower flying down. Other shapes claim the tower harnessed a great evil. You know, all kind of wild rumors like that. Sometimes we fly around the paper planes, it's pretty fun. Maybe we can get a paper plane for you and try flying up to the tower. Ah, uh, we did try flying to the big tower once, but we couldn't find any way to enter though. But perhaps we can give it another shot. Wait, can paper plants even hold our weight? Hey, only one way to find out! August nudged me teasingly. It shall be alright, we are pretty light after all. Oh yeah! It might not be possible on Earth, but here... My body also feels surprisingly light as if I weighed no more than a feather, yeah. Good recall. Is it become because I've become too deep? In that case, let's go! Let's indeed go! At the very least, we may be able to find clues. And besides, I get to sightsee with you all. How amazing is that? I think it will be fun. Is that so? And we are happy that you're here with us. I wonder if we'll be able to find something new this time. Alright, let's assemble and head out. Woo! Oh wait, should I leave a note for Cinnamon in case they come back? Oh, don't worry about it. I've just left a note for Cinnamon. Thanks, Sparrow. That was fast. Strange. Oh, don't mention it. And so we leave where the paper forest. Woohoo! We walked through the streets and for the first time I took a good look at this world. It sure does feel different from looking at it from above. The sky seems to stretch endlessly into pure white horizon. Wow, is this now? The whole specks of white ground circle float down from the sky. It lands and touches my skin and fades away. Indeed it is. Pretty, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So I was expecting snow to be a little colder. It is snowing and the air outside isn't cold at all. I watch as the tiny fluff of snow fall from the sky. Are we there yet? We're running out of the composites I packed. Stop eating all the composites. It hasn't even been five minutes. No, it's already been an hour. Wait, really? 
I'm sure it's cause time flies when you're having fun with us. Huh, Indigo? Are you teasing me? How do you even know what an one hour is anyway? I don't know. I wonder... If it's just August messing around again. The two ships continue bickering in the background and stake in the view of town. Giant houses in different shapes fill the street. Hey, are there more ships living in those big houses? Oh, those over there? Yeah, there used to be more ships coming in and out of, out of those houses, but recently it seems like there are less of us around. Is this related to the mysterious disappearance that Cinnamon mentioned? Just why did why did they go anyway away? I don't know, it's strange to me too. All other ships must have moved away because of how boring this place is. Well, we can only speculate. Despite living here, there are still many things I don't understand about the world. I wonder how far the dizzying white sky stretch us do. Just how big is this world? I don't know. Unfortunately, I do not know either. I wonder if we walk far enough, we'll reach the edge of the world. I heard that at the edge of the world is a deep hole. Gasp! Where all the missing ships go! What? Is that really true? Probably not. I guess being in a place like this surely makes for some wild remorse. Hmm, how about animals? Are there any here? What's an animal? Oh, so there are no animals here too. The ships have never known the soft, warm touch of a kitten flip How? <laughs> yeah, real. We all pass the houses to chat about various trivial things. It's nostalgic and warm feeling how I miss it dearly. This particular ships from Earth sounds awfully interesting. Um, Cassie, will it be possible to show us more about the things from your world? Uh, hum, what will you like to know about? It can be anything. Anything at all. I'm just curious. Oh, I don't know, no, too, about the ships from your world. Somehow I feel like I'm taking a bunch of kids on a field trip. Hmm. I know. How about I draw some cool stuff from Earth? I pick up a short tweak nearby and scribble into the snowy flower. And I drew... Tornado? S snail? Croissant? Croissant? Snail? I feel like snail... Tornado. Uh, both has a peculiar thing, like a spiral... Object going on, so yeah, interesting. That's a tornado. I'm just checking. Snail? Croissant. Yeah, both. All. Everything has like a spiral going on. I'm done. Look! This is a tornado, a four major natural disaster on Earth com composed of violently rotating air. And they are huge. They reach all the way up to the sky. B oh, what? What? It can be. I know, scary, right? No, that's not it. Hem? What's wrong? That's... That's the... The fabled Fibonacci? Oh, yeah. The what? The fabled Fibonacci? What's the fabled... What's the fabled Fibonacci? Some kind of pasta? Yeah, real. It is... So, it sounds like a pasta name. But... Yeah. Fibonacci, huh? A perfect shape! Indeed, it is said that such a shape is exceedingly hard to find around here. So such a rare shape exists on Earth. I'm jealous. Oh, it's everywhere. That's why Fibonacci is everywhere, I guess. I don't really get it, but I suppose it's something rare here? If we manage to go back to Earth, I'll show you all the real thing. Okay, maybe not a real tornado. <laughs> but I'm sure I'll be able to find some cool pictures. It's a promise. I'm not sure we can go to Earth, actually. Why not? Well, for starters, we are not from Earth. Oh, man. Ah, um, but who knows, really? If Cassie can, him, can come here, maybe you can visit Earth the one day. Yeah. Hey, I think out of all us shapes, Pharaoh would be the most interested in visiting Earth. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. It will be nice to see a different scenery for a change. We are each like old friends who made our way. A memory from a long time ago. Ah, Grandma. Grandma, did she take your medicine yet? Oh, sweetie, did she see? They said the end of the world is coming. They said it on TV. That's not true, you know those are just speculations. And of the world? Now about us meds? 
Yes, yes. I did take them. Don't you worry, sweetie. Grandma will always protect you. Even if the world ends. Alrighty, Grandma. That's enough TV. Don't you worry. The world won't end just yet. Sorry for making you work so hard. I'm all good. Just focus on getting better, okay? Yes, yes, Katie. Cassie. My little casserole. Oh. I thought I was the one comforting her, but she had always been the one comforting me instead. Now that I'm stuck in the shape world, there's been a feeling that's been nagging me. Not the strangeness of the shape world, not the peculiarity of the shape themselves, but a feeling of emptiness. No color, no taste, no animals, and a perpetual dizzy, dizzying brightness. After some time, it seems we have reached a place with swirling trees and grass. Are we there? Is this a paper for us? I think so. Wow, there's so much grass here. Hey, be, be, be careful. What? what? I felt Nico took on my sleeve, pulling me back from the grassy area back into the pavement. Careful about jumping in the grass. You don't want to get paper cuts. Oh, okay. Almost had me worried there. Ah, oh, I didn't notice. The blades of grass were paper thin and surprisingly sharp. Thank goodness you stopped me in time. Scythe, so just glad you're okay. But how did Indigo grab me with such dexterity when their hands are so rotten? <laughs> hey, Sparrow, this is your twin. You're pointing at a tree, you know. I know. God damn. As I entertained the random questions that drifted in my head, a sudden loud noise breaks my throat in a third. Hey, stop there. Halt. What? what? This is the shape police. What? what? You're under arrest. Oh, by the way, my name is Police. Do not resist, strange shape. The Benagram shape takes a step forward, forward towards me intimidatingly. What, what do you think you're doing? Stay away from Cassie. August steps in front of me, in between me and the other shape. So August is shaking a little, they hold their ground firmly. The shape police, explain yourself. Look at my idea, it says I'm the shape police, and I have an arrest warrant for the shape you call Cassie. From what? From where? No! No! No one arrests a member of the ass! Why is there an arrest warrant for Cassie? Surely, for Cass, for, surely it's a mistake. I haven't accidentally broken any laws, right? Ah, uh, calm down, Jace. All the shuffles around and finds a piece of paper reading from it nonchalantly. As you all may know, there have been many mysterious and dangerous occurrences happening in the ship world recently. We've been trying our best to investigate the cause of our world deterioration. And recently someone has entered our world, a shape that is not like us. Their presence alone could interfere with interfere with the state of our world. As such, please capture that shape. Sign your boss. By the way, keep up the good work and you'll get promotion in no time, smiley face. Why does that smiley face look so, so terrifying? So you've really got to stop being so by the book. You didn't have to read everything, you know. Sorry, just following protocol. Anyway, you hurt my boss, now high enough for Cassie. Hold on, this doesn't even make sense. Cassie being here is some more threat to our world. We are trying to help Cassie find a way home in the first place, as soon as possible. Are you saying that she police has a way to get Cassie back to Earth? You know, I'm not the one with any of the with all the details. I'm just listening to my boss. I am but a mere pentagon. A pentagoon, if you will. Uh, okay. Well, right now, we, we like you pentagon. That's right, get him in the go. Who is your boss? Why do they want me arrested? Alright, you are all asking too much. If you keep resisting, I will have no choice but to use force. No, no! I won't... I won't let you hurt Cass. I'll use the force. The force of turbo <laughs> What? Why? Okay, okay. Run away! What? what? Cassie, no! August gives chase full whisper in the girl, however, their speed is no match for police. The seal hoods of my friends slowly become smaller and smaller, and eventually they fade into a horizon. Why are you so fast? The Iro Dynamicism. Baby. All this run far far away with an impossible to beat stamina. However, what seems like a long while, it looks as if the sky turned ever so slightly dimmer. I remember waking up. Waking up alone in a new world. 
No, not quite. It's not a new world. The grass sways gently in the breeze and the morning sun glows over the horizon. This is... Earth? It's the same world of I know of, but different. I bury this feeling deep within my chest and take a deep breath. The cold air fills my lungs. Alright, let's do this. Shrugging off the unease of waking up every day hasn't been easy. It's day 6 to 4 of being alone. Now I can think of it this way. With a skip and a jump, I do a little hop on the grass to shake off the innocent Oh, sorry, I need to do something a little bit. Now I'm back. With a skip and jump, I do a little hop in the grass to shake off these innocent thugs. I can hear walking along the deserted street. Towards Utopia. What? Chapter 3, The Shape of Lies. Huh. Ah. Uh, where am I? No way! Is this a prison? Yeah. Sparrow? August? Indigo? It's completely quiet. But not for long. Alright, boss. I've got a... Cassie. Footsteps outside the door. And then someone comes inside. Boss? That shape? Cinnamon? Cassie. You must be here to save me, right? Ah? Huh? That explains everything. That explains how you know about us, even though the one picking us is not you. R right? Cassie, sorry, you're mistaken. So you're with the shape police? You're the one who ordered my arrest. Yep. I got a note from Sparrow telling me where you guys were headed. So I had the shape police wait there for you. I don't get it. Why am I being arrested? How am I a threat to this world? Why did you only send one police member? I mean, it doesn't seem very efficient if you're catching a criminal. I will have sent out at least two members to ensure my arrest. Um, of all the questions you could ha have asked, this... This is what you're concerned about? I really don't understand you at all. What? No, nothing Anyways, let me explain. As you may know, the state of the ship world is not stable. A lot of changing have been happening. Time seems to be moving slower and slower. There are less stars in the sky with each passing night. The entire world feels like it's slowly cr crumbling apart. And when all this is happening, suddenly you appear. You from another world. Do you get what I'm saying? You must have something to do with it. August and Negan may have trusted you fully. But not me. I don't know if you have a good or bad intentions, but I'm not taking any chances. Maybe you came here out of ill intent to harm our world. Or something happened in your world that is affecting our world. That's actually really possible. And you appearing here is just a side effect of that. And I know for certain what the truth is, I can let you go. After all, this world is very precious to me. Are you a bad person? Am I a bad person? I don't remember ever doing anything that could possibly harm the sheep world. I can possibly be the reason for the bad things happening here. I just want to return home to Earth. I'm really innocent. Simon lets out a soft sigh. Okay. If you are truly innocent, then please. Tell me about your world. It's just all too suspicious to me. Please tell me what you remember and I will judge for myself. What I remember? Where do I even begin? From the beginning or from the end? Um, how shall I describe Earth? It has trees, birds, pretty colors, and delicious food. It's a huge planet with land separated by oceans so fast you don't even know where it ends. It's almost the complete opposite of the shape world. I miss how Earth used to be. Uh, something fell from my desk, but okay, never mind that. What do you mean used to? You see, something big, big and bad happened to Earth. The apocalypse, or the end of the world. Hey, your grandma is right then. <laughs> huh. But humans had foreseen it coming and they had a plan. The end of the world didn't mean the end of humanity. Even at the world's end, we refused to die. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, wow, okay. That night was the biggest event in human history. Millions of parts were sent into space, each one carrying a single human. Is, is that a good idea? These parts will serve to protect us and send us somewhere safe. Flooding like stars in the sky, eliminating the dark cosmos. Where are the pots even headed? Out there in space, is it cold? Is it empty? How are friends and families going to unite again? It's not something I would know. I guess I was not one of them. On Earth, there were many more experimental pods that could not fly, such as our pod. However, that did not mean they, they were broken. I woke up into one of them. How long was I there? Weeks. Months. Years. Mm, I don't want to wake up. Hem? Well, wait, where am I? Grandma? That will be the first day from then on that I will be alone. Ah. The first place I went to was home. Grandma? But there was no one there. Empty. Empty. And empty. Huh? Is this? There are ships for purchasing apartment earth. The date installment of regular payment were made since years ago. Using her entire life savings, using the money that I gave her. Wait, what about people that doesn't have money to purchase pots? Just so she could afford a single pot that barely worked. Grandma, this money, it was meant to be for your medicine. Why? Why did you have to spend it on me? So when you say that you protect me even if the world ends, you mean it. But what's the point if I'm the only one alive? Why is it even launched to space? What? I stayed there until food ran out, so I had no choice but to leave. In the beginning, I thought that maybe you were still alive. Somehow, somewhere. But I have not met a single person since then. I'll travel like this, scavenging what I could find to survive. That's why you don't pay attention to the road. Oh, I'm hungry. I'll go from building to building looking for food and other things. Sometimes I will find traces of the people who were once there. And I will not know if they were up in space or no longer here. No reply again today. I fear they have been sending at least one message a day to a random phone number. Well, at least until my phone battery runs out and I am able to find a charging point again. I've already messaged a few people I know to which there were no replies. And I'm just throwing random numbers hoping for an answer. Anything at all. Whenever I'm able to connect to a network that somehow still works, I'll make countless posts on online forums. Sometimes I do get replies, but... These are just bots. <laughs> Damn, no matter what happens, no matter if the apocalypse happens, Twitter, Twitter bot is still there. Amazing. How can I possibly find happiness when everything and everyone is gone? I struggled with this talk a lot at first. But no matter how much I cried or rejected this world, I was still here. Even if happiness was a transient thing, I still look for it. And so when I wake up again every day in search of something, anything, there may not even be other survivors out there. I might try until my death and I might never even come close to find anything, anyone. And so there's no meaning in searching, is there? After all, all this effort might not even pay off. But. If I never try, I'll never know. If there's no meaning in searching, then what's the harm in trying anyway? Good one. I'm afraid of getting my hopes up and losing it all, all again. Grandma, you really will get better. It might be selfish of me, but I really don't want to face the day where all will know. Oh, sweetie, it's okay. Death is something that happens to all of us one day. Mine is no different. It hurts because you have already experienced happiness. That in itself is a blessing now. Yeah. Yes. So of course it will hurt. Now hurting truly gets easier. Still I never regretted loving you, the world and everything in it. And nothing is gonna change that.
That's right, not even the end of the world. That sounds so cheesy. Good thing I like cheese. The cheesy pun it is! Haha! <laughs> Oh, wow. One day I was, was, as I was wandering around, I came across an abandoned house. Inside it, I found an old phone. As expected, there's no battery. Hmm? Huh? Ah, there's a charger! The phone lights up once again, and in it, I found some messages. I know I shouldn't be looking, but this is important. New message since last year? Isn't that? I kept scrolling through countless messages and I reached the last, uh, latest entry. So I'm gonna look for the place that call they call Utopia. They said there's gonna be people there. I've sent you the info. Just in case you see this. Let me know, okay? Please stay safe. I love you. Utopia. These messages? They're from this year, yeah. I knew it. I'm not alone after all. An assist with the document already tells about Utopia. Someone was still alive. Now many people are, people are still alive. This Utopia, Utopia, what kind of place is it? Can I really find people there? Maybe Grandma might be... This is amazing! And so I traveled in search of Utopia for a very long time. But then an accident happened that sent me here. How? I have already told you all that. That means someone's alive. Right? I see. Or it's just a random kinetic force. This story of yours seems like quite a tale. Could it be? Do you believe me now? There's a connection between the dwindling life in world and here? Yes, I believe you. But I still don't understand one thing. What is it? Why do you want to go back to Earth? Even if we go back now, wouldn't you be going back to a painful and lonely world? Why not stay in the shape world? In that brief moment, cinnamon eyes widened ever so slightly. The kind of unshy cinnamon that I knew even if for a short time. Um, honestly, I didn't really think that hard. What? Earth may be mostly dead, but I'm still alive. And not just me, I know there are others alive too. So I want to go back. Moreover, the shape world is not so stable, isn't it? Like I said, maybe you can come to Earth instead to get rid of other shapes. We can all stay together. We can all make Earth a little less lonely. What? That's... That's not... No, never mind. It's okay, I understand now. Cinnamon, do you trust me? Just now, was that the faintest of smiles? Thanks to you, I remember everything now. I've... I've been here for so long I thought I had already forgotten. Everything. What? Guards, lock her up. What? 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 what why? Eh, yeah, boss, there's only one of me, so... Uh, whatever. Stay put, Cass. No. The cell door closes again as I run up to it, but it's delayed. Cinnamon. I thought we were friends. I thought we were part of the ass. I thought that we could all stay together. I thought that I didn't have to be alone anymore. Was I too naive? My body slumps to the floor. What do I do now? Why did Cinnamon if after I told them everything? Now pull yourself together, Cass. You'll be alright. As you always have. As you always will be. Never mind Cinnamon for now, what's going to happen next? If someone is still insists on locking me up, then that means they still, me, still see me as a threat somehow. If I were Cinnamon, how would I deal with this threat? I'll surely... Elimination? Oh, the music. I might die? That means I can escape. An escape. There's something happening here, I don't know what is it though. My if my eyes drift me around the room. All four walls are hard as bricks and doors and budging, bulging. There's a small opening at the top of the wall, but... It's a small. No escaping here. Wait, you're 2D. You're 2D, right? I can reach it even if I jump my hardest. There's absolutely nothing to do. In times like this, I guess it's time for a nap. Don't you have your phone? I let it on the floor. Huh. This feeling really reminds me of when I first 
fall fell on the shipboard for some reason. Even so, this room is strange. I said light shining from outside. I think that this world isn't supposed to have light or darkness. Indeed. This world doesn't have a lot of things, huh? That kind of sucks. I feel like thinking so much is making my head explode. Wait, let me check the model. Oh, do I want uh, this model to cover like this? I mean, is there any other options? Like, can I move my model around? Nope, not much options available for me. I can lower the size of my model, so because, but yeah, that's very tiny, right? I feel like things so much is making my head explode. But Cinnamon was acting a real suspicious. I feel like I'm missing something. Indeed. I wonder how the rest of the ass are doing now. They must be worried. August, Sparrow, Indigo. Huh. August, Sparrow, Indigo. Wait. Wait, what? Well, what do you realize? I can't believe I missed that. The greatest clue was in my face all along. I'm sorry, Cassie. If you could go back, what would you choose to do? I don't know if you realize the truth, but I guess I don't care anymore. Whatever you choose, it won't matter soon now. I finally realized why I've been feeling a little empty. So our memories have been wiped. By our own choice. No, or perhaps they've simply been eroded away with time. Thanks to Cassie, I seems to have remembered what happened now. Asa. I finally realized why our names were so out of place. After all, Indigo is... The color of blueberries. There is no color in this world. And yet the shape world has no concept of color. And cinnamon is taste. Yeah. And Sparrow. A bird and yet birds do not exist here. Holy shit. August is... There's... The time here is weird. The name of a month in a world in a real concept of time. And finally cinnamon my name. The name of a spice in a world without taste. I... I get it now. The reason their names are from Earth is because... It's because... The sheep people are actually... Humans from Earth. Living in a goddamn simulation? Hmm. <laughs> But then if the shape world is actually on Earth, then Cinnamon Sparrow, August, and Indigo are human. But how did they, they end up in the shape world then? Because they're living in a simulation, right? And you somehow get back into the simulation. And the reason like people are disappearing because they are being awake. They lived here for a really long time, didn't they? Wait, how long did they even live here for? And how did I end up here? Because someone placed this to you here after accident? What if... Just what if the shape world is actually... Utopia? Ah... Oh. The Utopia that you've been searching for, Cass. That all of us have been searching for. For our own reasons, we found hope in Utopia. The scientists who created you to pay who let us stay in this artificial world. So a little bit be begrudgingly. So that we can escape the harsh reality of living in such dreary world. Sickness, pain, and loneliness cannot be fixed here. But at least they can be suppressed. Cassie, once you return to Earth, you will surely realize this false utopia. To stop more people from getting trapped, destroying this world is the only way. Maybe you can come to Earth instead, together with the other shapes. We can all stay together. We can all make our Earth a little less lonely. 
Even if we want to do, we cannot leave this world. Because our shapes have already chosen to be north of the, by north of this world. It's too late for us to return. Yeah, probably our body is already decaying or something. I'm really sorry, Cassie. You are someone who strongly loves Earth despite its suffering. And I am someone who desperately wishes to run from it. Chapter 4, The Shape of Nothing. So you know what? I'm, I'm gonna complete this game in one go. The next waking, because I'm so interested in the story. Um, how long did I fall asleep for? Cassie. Oh, what are you doing here? You're here to kill me, aren't you? I'm warning you, I can put up a good fight. I need you to follow me, Cassie. I want to show you something. Show me what exactly? Just follow me. I follow Cinnamon with hesitant footsteps. My ass darted to the hallway so I thought about making an escape but it seems possible. Because the moment I left the prison there was only pitch black darkness. What? I couldn't even speak. My ass were just drawn to the dark expanse below. What is this? Where am I? What is going to happen? I just have a really bad feeling about this. Hey, is this where you're going to do some evil villain monologue or something? Goodbye. And then I fell. I fell for what seems like an eternity. Deeper and deeper. My heart is beating so fast it feels like it's going to burst. This is how I will die. Come to think of it, how do shapes die here? If the shape world is gone, with all the shapes here to die? What about my friends here? And then my body hits something hard at the bottom. Oh, I think I'm to get my bearings. I'm alive! My knees are little, but I'm okay. It's absolutely pitch black, there's no one here. Ah, uh, well, what do I do now? When Cassie told me everything, I almost couldn't believe it. I remember everything, all the memories that I tried to forget. It was a regular day in the office. Hey, you look more tired than yesterday, you good? I am, okay. Damn, those eye bags of yours are gonna make Panda's blush. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I just read you're going to burn out. No, not yet. You know I can leave now. Don't get me wrong, I'm tired, but I'm happy. Happy working with you guys, it is. Haha, <laughs> aren't you a sweet cinnamon roll? Uh -huh. But you know, I feel the same. Well, I'm only here because you're still here. I shall be thinking you're right. Ah, uh, drop your thanks. Come on, we are the old friends. If the world around us were cold, this will be its warmth. But nothing lasts forever, even this warmth would fade. Eventually, the company closed and we spent our separate ways for a while. When I was small, small child, I had a dream. Just wait, mom and dad. I'll be the most awesomest person ever. Be better, be the best ever. But as the years went by, the dream slowly morphed into something unrecognizable. After all, dreams alone did not fill our stomachs. I live with my elderly parents at home, always going from work to work to provide for us. At some point, I begin to settle. To survive, I suppose dreams have to go. At least for now. People and places all feel the same to me now. Did I do good enough? Why did it have to end again? We did good, didn't we? Maybe I have to try harder. Be better, be the best ever. I'm tired. Hello, right? Sorry for cutting this late. Oh, no worries. What's up? I'm just tired. So many things have been happening. And it's been difficult to connect with anyone at a new place. Well, you've always been pretty reserved, haha. Huh? But don't worry. This kind of things take time. It's not their fault. I just, I just can't trust them. Well, it's not a bad thing entirely to be guarded. If they give you enough reason to dope them, then follow that instinct. Even so, trust is part of connecting with someone, isn't it? Who knows? Maybe you can meet wonderful people you do. That's how we met in the first place, huh? Yeah. That day I wish for a time to stay still. That my parents wouldn't grow any older and seek her. 
and that Ray and I would remain friends forever living in the same city. When the end of the world came, I was fully prepared to despair, despair along with the world. But my parents managed to abstain a pot on earth without me knowing. Sorry, Sin, it isn't one that can fly to space, but it still works. You shall be safe if you sleep here when the end comes. Mom, how did you guys even afford this? We... we didn't. We couldn't. It was from your friend, Ray. Oh. Oh. What? What? Um, he said that the world was ending and that the only friend he cared about was... Did he get another one for himself? I'm afraid not. Those things are crazy expensive, you know. Ray, Ray. I know I've been calling Ray multiple times, but there was no way I could contact him. Ray, why couldn't I protect you? Why didn't I notice? Mom, that either of one of you should slip in the pot instead. I don't think I have the right to... Oh dear, we're already sold now, there's no point in saving us. But you are still young, I hope that you can have a better future. What? Wh what future? I... I won't accept it. But that fearful night, my dad carried me into the pot while I was asleep. When I opened my eyes, I could see his blurry image from within the glass. Is it blurry from the reflection or... He slowed just over the pot as if saying goodbye. No! Don't do any more for me. I didn't want anyone else to despair because I was useless. My son, I hope you can find happiness in a new world. Why couldn't I be a better son? Why couldn't I do better, earn more, and buy pots for you and mom? I'm sure that as long as you keep trying, there will always be hope. I'm supposed to be the one protecting you. I I'm the one supposed to be protecting you. We have always loved you and we always will. Why can things remain the same? I call Mr. Hunden my vision and I begin to feel sleepy. I can sleep. Not yet. I can even see you properly. Dad. One last time. In the end, who could I even protect? Not my family, not my friends, that Rai. What was I working so hard for? My life continues on regardless. When I next awoke from the pot, I think about simply never leaving it again. What's the point? Everyone is gone. I tried connecting, connecting all family, friends, and college to no avail. Every tiny little speck of warm in the world is gone. It's just me now looking up at a vast sea of stars. Uh huh. How did it come to this? I didn't really know what to do. So I kept on walking and walking with no destination in mind. I kept on walking just like you did, Cassie. I eventually found an entered utopia with the help of the robot bunnies and that scientist facility. Robot bunnies? Inside the shape world, I met Line, the scientist who made utopia. It seems that he was stuck inside his own creation. Are you really sure you want to stay here? If you sign this, you'll lose your body and become a sheep. Not just that, your current memories will deteriorate into nothingness as time goes by. Not like time exists in this world anyway. If I become a sheep, can I really forget everything? Probably, yeah. You can regard this. Going back to Earth once your shape is irreversible, you know. Ah. Oh. If there's a chance to forget everything and be happy again, I'll take it. Very well then, sign here on this piece of paper. It is a seal that validates your ties to this world. Once you sign it, you can exit through the portal back to Earth anymore. Where did you even get these papers? Ah, uh, don't even remind me. I initially made them for just myself, you know. I just wanted to become a hermit, living in my own creation. But so many of you, you humans end up, end, up, end up here wanting to stay. So I ended up just uh, making copies of it. The paper just must make everything more official to confirm that you have no regrets, you know. And unfortunately, the paper is the one way to get to stay here permanently. Well, then I can just stay here without sending them? You can, but then it won't kickstart the memory deletion process since the program doesn't recognize you as a shape. 
So that's why Cassie still remember, huh? And other troublesome things if you were to stay here permanently. I know it was a horrible damn decision on my part when I made these papers. I blame it on my impulsive feeling when I heard the world was gonna end. If the world was gonna end, I'm going to give myself the best dream ever. Wait, well, as a scientist, how could you not have a contingency plan? Wait, well, if something goes wrong, you can even go back to fix it. If the other scientists were still here, they surely torment me. Uh, I was in the middle of developing, developing such a wonderful world, but the end of it has to come so soon. So I had to cut development shorts and I couldn't add as much thing as I wanted. That's why I'm running so low poly count. Like taste, I really wanted to add a giant croissant mountain that you can eat forever. I'm so sad now. Sorry for the rant, I let my feelings out quite a bit. By the way, if you're wondering how I still remember all this, that's because I'm the creator of Utopia, so of course I have access to certain rights. I am the protagonist. Um, you probably just want to get on the business, huh? Ah, very well. As I went by, my wrist grew his year with passing day, but I didn't mind. It felt like painful memories have held onto for so long were slowly dissolving away like bubbles in the sea. Um, what is the sea anyway? I eventually made friends and worms slowly returned to my world. When he told me everything I see, the memories I almost forgot and had suddenly resurfaced. I realized that the hope and happiness that my family and Roy entrusted to me, I finally, f I, f I finally, I found it all here. I did it. I keep walking and walking, but there's no one here. Err, I don't like this place. Slap and taunt. What was that? Slap and taunt and live dog and. That sounds it's coming from underneath. It's hard to say, but beneath my feet is a glass barrier. And below it, there seems to be a shape. Shape? Huh? Slip M to in life dark? S slap? Slap M to in life dark. M. Slap M to in life in dark. Who are you? Why are you down here? Slap M to in life in dark. Dawn. That's Dawn. Me. The. The what? The r r cat? Er cat? The the er cat in I'll I'll V? Don't wait, no, this is a mix of world and also me please, please The Dark in Leave? Don't M, um, please. The dark? That's dark, right? The dark in leave. Don't M, um, please. Please? Don't leave me in the dark. Probably. It didn't seem to be responding to me at all. Just what is this place? That shape is no longer of sentience. A different shape appears before me. Or rather under me. Huh? Who are you? I'm... No, who I am isn't important anymore. But who are you, though? Saifu, you must know my name is Panceta. That doesn't really explain much. Are you a shape? Sorry if I'm being crude, but you don't seem like a shape I've ever seen before. That's because I'm a shape who already lost their form. I used to be a rectangle, but I'm guessing some kind of error occurred and I was thrown in here as a result. What is this place? Um, you know, this program where we are in was created rather quickly for its scope. There's bound to be tons of error and memory leaks everywhere. It seems like all error and junk are thrown into this abyss and able to delete it to be deleted permanently. And then include anyone that dies. Anyone that dies? Do you know what happens when a human in the real world dies but their consciousness are trapped in this program? Their bodies die in real life, but this world has no real way of doing them, so they are thrown into this abyss. 
They are no longer sentient, but the world continues their existence. Repeating the last word they spoke over and over again. Just like the last one you met just now. Just don't leave me in the dark. Huh? At this point, these words are no longer theirs. It is their world that is making them speak. Oh. Honestly, this place sucks. I was transported here by the program presumably because there was an error with my own memories or something. My memories should have been erased, but for some reason the program failed to do so. So I'm just waiting for the end to come now. Will it ever come? Though? Can you come up here? This glass barrier here, did you fall through it? Can you come up here? Oh, trust me, I tried. But unlike you, I just fell through the barrier and there's no way back for me. I just want to get out of here. I just want to go back, it's dark and scary here. I'm how curious. How are you able to stay on top of the glass? On top of that, hey? Huh. Oh. Hmm. You don't appear to be a shape and keep your human form. Wait, did she not sign it? Sign what? Was there supposed to be a scientist on top of there? You know, did Line not give you a piece of paper when you first entered this world? Who gave me what? The paper that is supposed to turn you into shape and slowly delete your memories. Um, I did see a piece of paper lying on the floor when I first wake up, but I didn't see anyone or do anything with it. No way, is Line just slowly slacking off up there? He must have gotten sloppy. Or maybe he just doesn't care anymore. If I can meet him in the face, I have so many things to say to him. If Line's still there. You know? Because of him, I'm stuck here. Sorry, I gotta hurt myself. In any case, if you didn't sign it, then that's a good thing. You probably have a good chance to return to Earth. I guess. Line, he's... The one who created the Utopia, isn't he? The whole big scientist created this whole big world and we all fell for it. Some Utopia this is. Hmm. So the paper I found was some kind of key that turns people on ships and prevent them from going back to Earth. Somehow line wasn't there and I didn't sign it, but stumbled my way into the ship world. And the ship friend I met will then have known what happened because they don't remember ever being human. Um. How do I get out of this abyss, too? To go back to Earth, I need to leave this place first. Well, gee, if only Roman Dinners or Eternity could find an answer to your question. If only me. In other words, I don't know. Oh! But uh, within my time roaming in darkness, there is a particle spot where light shines. I couldn't investigate it because of the glass barrier, but maybe there's a way out from there. And where can I find this light? I don't know, it all looks the same to me here, go figure. But you know, it's good to have hope. Well, what happens if I can find a way out? Ah, then you will be stuck here with us un until this world collapses or your real body dies. What a joke. This world is a joke just like Line is. What kind of stupid person called himself under the shape? But I di digress. If you ever make it out there, go to the huge tower. You should be able to find a portal leading back to Earth. So there really is a portal. Since you didn't sign a paper, the portal shouldn't detect you as an object of this world. You should be able to live that way. And if you meet Line, tell him to. <laughs> it's that sir. Oh, uh, oh my. I thank you for the information. But you know, the only one able to live this world is you. Our ships have no way of escaping. So what will you do? If you say you'll rot together with us. If you leave, you'll be the only one. Earth is a lonely place, isn't it? But if you leave, you can shut off this stupid world for good. You can stop others from making the same mistake. After all, this world cannot erase our pain. The two of us part ways as we begin to search for the light. After walking for a bit, I fully noticed the darkness surrounding me. My heart beat faster as I came to the realization that I'm all, all alone again. There is no sound but the echo of my footsteps. Even though our meeting was brief, I began to miss the shadowy figure presence. I... I walk and walk, but the darkness does not end. Mm, maybe I can... 
Help! Can anyone hear me? Help! Someone. Up there? I can hear walking occasional taking naps here and there. But every time I wake up, I see only darkness. How long has it been? Days? Weeks? Or... What happens if we can find a way out? Then you'll be stuck here with us until this world corrupts or your real, real body dies. What did they mean by real body dies anyway? Where's my real body now? This isn't my real body. This is my consciousness trap here. How am I still alive? Am I in a coma? Am I... Dying? Alone again? I can't... Die alone. The only one able to leave this world is you. Alright, but even if I manage to find a way back, the rest of them will still be stuck here, won't they? Either way, I'll be... No. I can't do this anymore. Oh. I don't want to be alone. I can't do anything by myself. Sparrow, Indigo, August. Cinnamon. Please come back. I miss the ass. Yeah, uh, me too. Me too. Sniffle. I hate it here. This place sucks my your ass. Grandma, come back. I want a hug. Grandma, um, I miss your baked potatoes. There's no... Sob, sobs. No baked potatoes here. Sniff. I'll give up. Bake potatoes if you come back. I'll work hard. Wah! Sniff. Cassie? Cassie! Huh? Cassie, are you down there? I... I must be hallucinating. August. Oh, ow, oh, ouch, ouch! Oh my god, it's Cassie! What, what? Something fell on me. A compact sight? Hang on, Cassie. A rope! Here, grab this. What? I'm... Wait, but where's, where does the light come from? I'm saved. Thank you. I began climbing up the rope, stuffing the compact in my pocket. No problem. Yeah, you said there was light here. There, right? Come to think it, I never found that light after wandering around for so long. Yeah. How strange. Well, it doesn't matter. As I slowly reach the top of the rope, my arms are sore. Maybe there was no light. Maybe that person is trying to give you hope. You know? But I can see light. I... I'm back. Cassie, how do you find us? I'm back in the paper forest. Cassie, you're back. Are you alright? Did you get hurt? I... I miss you guys so much. Well... Snivel, I... Cinnamon... What is that thing? Where, where's Cassie? Wait, can you see it? No, you cannot see it. There we go. <laughs> what is that? And the abyss, the prison, I... Cinnamon... The truth of a displace your memories. It's okay, take it easy. You're safe now. Yep, you can tell us about your adventures later. Here's some compai sites if you're hungry. I'm just glad we found you. I'm just gonna... Indigo plops on the floor with a scythe. Indigo, are you okay? I'm fine, just to hurt yourself. On the ground is a heavy backpack it, and it contains a bunch of items. A pen, notes drop, a tent. Did you all seriously search for me all this time? Of course, we no could never leave a member of the ass alone. I will never have made it out by myself. Thank you so much. Oh, no worries. But you know, we never would have found you if we didn't hear you crying. So you ought to give yourself some credit for not giving up. Eh? You heard me crying? Yep, what uh, was it? Something about potatoes? What's the potatoes? So you heard all of that. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Tell them from your memories this instant, please. Oh, what's wrong? Nothing, it's just embarrassing. It's okay, we won't tell anyone. That's not a point! Snoring. Uh-huh. I guess everyone's tired now. Let's take a break and I'll tell you what happened in the next waking. 
Okay, yawns. I run drifted off to sleep in no time in the makeshift tent that Indigo had brought. Any snores can be heard among the little stars in the sky. I wonder if in real life our snores can be heard as well. No, I can see no time for any more folks. Time to get some rest. Chapter 5 The Shape of an Unwavering Heart. When the next weekend came, I told everyone what happened in great detail. From what happened with Cinnamon to the Abyss and the Truth of Utopia in Israel. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah. So we were all human? That is a lot to take in. Cinnamon. I know it's a lot, a lot, but you have to believe me. With all that is happening recently, I believe just about anything now. By the way, do you all remember your past now? Cinnamon seems to remember after all. Yeah? Hello, is it not clicking? Nope. Not me either. I don't remember as well. Why is that so? Maybe you said in the shape world for much longer than Cinnamon. So naturally our memories are fuzzier. Oh yep, nope, I didn't skip anything. Now that you told us all that, it does kinda make sense why Cinnamon acted that way too. Huh? Did you all meet Cinnamon after I was captured? Yeah, it was a bit strange. We met Cinnamon shortly after we were captured and told him what happened. As I've explained, Cassie is gone. Cinnamon, you're always hanging around the shape police, right? Do you know who to cast? I... I don't know. Sorry. I can help you ask better than anything you can find her so easily. Why do you say that? After all, she doesn't belong to this world, right? Maybe there's a good reason as to why she was captured. She... But she does belong! To the ass! Cinnamon. So, Cinnamon, what are you suggesting? Did we just give up? I... We were doing fine without her, weren't we? What? Before she came here, we were doing just fine, right? We were happy. Weren't we? What are you saying? Our friend is missing and this is all you have to say. Our friend? Why do you trust her so much anyway? Doing all this for someone you just met. She's a human. What if she really does have bad intentions? You barely know her. The way I see it, I'm the only one here who is being cautious. But she hasn't done anything to hurt us. Also, because it's really nice. So I'm sure just thinking too much, Cinnamon. Nice. How do you know for sure? Cinnamon, why are you so suspicious of her? Huh? It's just I've met people that seems nice but really aren't. It's just you I trust. Huh? I... People? Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Even so, trust is part of connecting with someone, isn't it? I still believe Cassie. So are you going to help us search for Cassie or not? I... I... All I want is just for things to remain the same as they were. I just want some stability. Is that so much to ask for? Cinnamon, wait! Yeah, after Cinnamon is gone, we can be searching for you. We figured Cinnamon will come back after a while, but... I guess they weren't expecting us to actually find you. Hey! If we were actually human, does it mean we get to Earth for reals? Um, if what Cassie is saying is true, then that will be possible, yeah? We were human once, and yet I have no memory of that. Yeah. How can we become human again and return to Earth? It doesn't seem so likely, no matter how you think about it. If I'm understanding it right, that means that only Cassie can go back. And all shapes here will be stuck in a dying world once this program ends. Where did all the other shapes go, though? But if Cassie stays here with us, we are all just perished together. Do we have to say goodbye? 
Actually, that's only if what I'm saying is true, right? Maybe. Not everyone tells the truth all the time. Even the information I've been given may be riddled in lies. And I've come to think that not everyone can always be trusted. But maybe that's precisely why... We can still hope. There's a lot we know, but there might be more that we don't. Let's keep thinking and trying, okay? Still as cheerful as ever, Cassie. Your optimism no bounds. A third option. To save every human shape before this world collapse. I wouldn't be that optimistic. That's why... I think... We have to find the creator of this world. Of Utopia. That's line, isn't it? Yep, he should be in the tower. Somewhere. We can get out there using paper planes, right? Yep, good thing there should be a bunch of them lying around here. Well, let's get go get to it. Uh-huh. We all along the path and search for paper planes. What? what? I grip into ghost sleep bear flanks. Oh, what is it? Oh, sorry, it's just your sharp grass where you're, you were headed. Oh, thanks. I found one, over here! I just wave over to us, just ring a giant pepper plane on the ground. Wow, can we really fly on this? Only one way to find out. Where there's pepper plane anyway? Um... Sorry, Ronnie, I'll go ahead without me first. I'm going to look for cinnamon. Alone? Sparrow, are you worried about cinnamon? Yeah. Uh, but even if I do find them, I will not them hurt you, Cassie. Don't worry about me, you all can use searching for a way out. We'll meet up again soon. Hmm. Shall we come along and search for cinnamon to you? I'll be fine, thanks too. I I understand. Leave the search to us, Sparrow. Wait for our good news, stay safe, Sparrow. Yep. Sparrow leaves to look for cinnamon. Now let's go, we get to carry this plane to somewhere someplace say so that it can catch the wind. Uh, Alright! With a combined effort from all three of us, we managed to lock it up a hill. But what? The wind is strong up here! Now, August, Cassie, hold into the plane. Yeah. I got into the plane. It's a little wobbly, but I managed to secure myself on it. Wind so, 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 so strong! Don't worry, I've got you both. August holds into both of our arms. The plane, August, hold into the plane, not us! We, we are... We are flying! We are really flying! Yeah. Oh, wow! A strong gust of wind sends the plan building a light a little aside. It's okay, it's all good. I think. Looks like it's not a breeze flying this thing after all. Oh, god damn it. This is not a good time for puns. What? I was just letting the mood. I haven't heard a single pun from you all since we met up. Yes, I was like. Uh, in. like, solemn, like. No, like, in peace already. That's disappointing. Um, um, coincidentally, you all know how to steer this thing? Well, let me try. Indigo steps to the tip of the plane and begins steering the plane. I guess if wind picks up from below us and lifts us up higher and higher. Fla Flying is certainly the hate of my stage here. God damn it, stop. The paper fire seems so small in comparison to now. The tower, I can see it. The wind feels nice up here, doesn't it? Let us nice say you, Indigo. Well, where did that come from? We are so high up. I can't believe I fell all the way from this tower. I guess this floor doesn't really have all damage. By the way, how do you enter the tower? Mm-hmm, good question. Where do you fall? You, you can fall, then there should be an ex exit or entrance, right? Good question. Don't think I see any entrance to it. I assume we flew here for fun, but didn't see anyone, anyone either. Strange, Keshi, didn't you initially fall from tower? So there has to be some kind of hole or entry somewhere, right? I'm not sure. Maybe there is a hole in our logic instead. Uh, okay. Oh wait, don't you all think we are going a little fast? Oh, oh. Oh, this is right, the wind is really strong now. Wait, it's right. We're going to crash? Hey, Indigo, can you do something? I'm trying. The plane flies closer and closer to the tower at high speed. Ah. Oh, what if there's no... Yeah, we can just do that. Wow. Indigo, August, are you okay? 
Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. For the most part. I think I'm gonna get a headache. I never knew that pepper planes were so sturdy. Oh, I think that was my hip. <laughs> Thank goodness. Also, this place is really bright as you say, Cass. We actually did it! I give Indigo and August a big hug. Of course we did it. Hey, hey. Meanwhile... Isn't that... Crushing a paper plane in there? That's insane. Cassie, so they did find you after all. Why do you still... Scythe. Either way, it doesn't matter. There's no happy ending for us. Trust her. Yeah. So, where do we find this line you speak of? Um, last time I walked around this place a lot, but I didn't see anyone. Oh my god, what have you done? Uh, what, have you, what have you all done? Wait, maybe Cassie entered this place through other place? My wall! My lovely wall! That shape, that form, line. Um, you're a line, aren't you? How do you know my name? I wonder indeed. Oh, you're the one who turned us all into shapes, yeah. So I see your shape too, just like us. You all busted my precious wall and then threatened to assault me. Knowing my name, no less. Are you some kind of virus? M maybe I made a mistake somewhere in the program. We aren't here to assault you. We just have some things to ask you. Go ahead, make it swift and painless, okay? I know my time is ending anyway, you don't notice anything strange. It must be my sins coming to haunt me. Don't worry, we have a lot of time. Ah, a lot of time to ki kill me. August just means a lot of time to chat. We aren't here to hurt you. Oh. Line, you created this world, right? Yes, I did. Hey, just asking, is the shape world or utopia collapsing? Yes. When will it fully collapse? I don't know when, but from the looks of things, maybe a few years at most. Why didn't I see you up here the first time? How would I know that? I was taking a risk up on a balcony. On a balcony? Ah, oh, could it be... That you are sleeping on the ledge? Ah, uh, but by right there is supposed to be a barrier there you can cross. You see, I placed a bunch of barriers in the shape world that should prevent ships from moving through them. Wait, is that you? Was that you? Is this line you? No. Probably not. Uh huh. Shapes. Man, I certainly didn't account for a human passing through. There are also other bears type that grant shapes entry, but not other entities. Could one of the bears be like the glass bear in the abyss? At least the shouldn't hurt that much, I hope. How did I end up here? How does a human, human even enter you away from Earth in the first place? Oh, that. You need to be hooked to a special machine. And his machines... And his machines are all inside my facility. When you're hooked up to it, your body is supplied with all kind of nutri nutritions. So no need to worry about health. But I didn't see any machine mo back then. I think I was hit by a truck and then when I woke up, I was here. Accident. Oh, no, no. I'm so sorry. That has been... Must have been my robot helpers. I taught them how to operate vehicles in my stead, but they weren't very good at it. They must have been the ones operating the truck you mentioned. And then they brought you into the Utopia in an attempt to save you. Ah, I'm really sorry. So my real body now is dead or alive? But good news, the fact that you're still here on crutches means that you're still alive. Haha. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Why did you create this world? For science, way else. I've always been creating little gadget, get, gadgets here and there, and I've always wanted to create an entire fictional world. And as the end of the real world came soon, and I couldn't move my project to space. Not that I could afford it anyway, I spent all my saving developing all my little, little robot helpers and other things. So I thought Utopia was meant just for me. But then my little helpers back on Earth must have been sending more people here. You must have told me their stories when they came here, you know. I want to forget everything. My body is in pain, but I don't want to die. If I were to die, let it be here. Please let it be painless. I told them my project is inside playgrounds for you to live in, you know. But they begged me to let them stay in Utopia and I didn't have the heart reviews. Even though I knew that this world wasn't particularly stable, I suppose deep down a part of me was feeling a little lonely too.
about Pancetta. Do you remember anyone by the name of Pancetta? Oh, Pancetta, yes, indeed. I do vaguely remember. Did she meet them? How are they? You see, this is what happened. Uh huh. So that's what happened. To be stuck in never ending darkness cemented by your memories. It's all my fault. I deserve every bit of hatred Pancetta has towards me. Um, is there any way to help Pancetta? I mean, you created this world, can you change the code or something? I could try if I could go back to Earth and access my terminal, but I can't. I'm sorry, Pancetta. Because you're stuck as a shape. I have a request to ask of you. There's something I need to ask of you. So you see, this is what happened. I reckon everything that has happened so far to the line. So your memories and form were kept intact because you didn't meet me previously. But your little adventure you figured out figure out what this world really is. And you want to find a way back to Earth Earth with your shape friends. By asking me? Y yes We were hoping that there may be, may be a way out of this. Together. Getting you out can see simple enough. Just head over to the Earth portal. I can bring you to here. Once you enter it, your consciousness will return to your real body. So there is a part of the Earth. That's right. But your shape friend? Not possible. Not even I can leave this place with my admin rights. Oh. But why is that so? Can we just enter the Earth for as well? It's all because of that stupid seal I made. Let me show you. You see that portal? It has a seal on it. That seal prevents any shape that has already sent the paper from crossing into the portal. Since all of you signed it except Cassie, there's no way back for us. There's really no way? Well, it was worth a shot asking anyway, Cassie. Um, goodness, you said you can still go home, Cassie. Do I just go home and everyone here just wait for the their end? I don't want to say goodbye anymore. Aww. I shut and hold August in Liga's Rotun's hand. I feel soft and squishy like a soft ball. Cassie. It's okay, Cassie. You should go home. After all, it's what you've been wanting to do from the start, right? Did I do a bad thing in telling you all the truth? If I didn't, maybe at least everyone can leave here without knowing. Without worrying. It's okay, Cassie. Simple. You aren't wrong. I never regretted meeting you. Uh, don't cry, August. I'm not crying, you're crying. I'm not crying, I'm Cassie. Why do you still get time to, uh, to uh, pull out a pun? I'm gonna punch you. You too. This is really the end. Ceylon, can I ask you a question? What is it? Meanwhile. Cinnamon, I finally found you. Sparrow? Why are you here? Cinnamon, Cassie told us everything. And? Cassie and the rest are going to find line. And look for a way out. Why did she come for me despite knowing what I did to her? I essentially tried to... Tried to kill her because I was afraid things would change for us. That's... I'm not forgiving you for that. I can say I understand what you're doing is right. But... Farewells are painful. That's why we're not going to say goodbye. Please trust us. Now I... Ceylon, can I ask you a question? What is it? Do you, do you think you can learn programming? <gasps> what? what? Why? What? Why is this a question? If I go back to Earth, I will have access to your terminal, yes. I was thinking maybe... Do you have a button there somewhere that says press this to free all shape from this program by any chance? Do you really think programming is that simple? Uh, yes. No, no, there isn't such a function. Why do you have a spiral on top of your head? There is, however, a farewell command that my robot helpers can execute. Oh, what am I saying? That's practically useless given our situation, though. What is that command? Laura Ipsum Dollar said I'm a constructor. Cons Consecutor are despising elite set do eus de mo tempor insidirun ut labore et dolore magna aliqua. I don't understand shit. I do feel like I've heard it somewhere. Lorem ipsum. Said it coming to my robot helpers and utopia will be destroyed. 
So that's as good as he's alerting the world's end. Destroy Utopia? Does the end of Utopia mean we all, we all die? If Utopia is destroyed, every structure in here will begin to collapse and we all bury it inside trouble and darkness. When it happens, your real body shall technically be kept alive by machines. But your consciousness will end. At that point, are you truly still alive? In other words, we be in coma until our real bodies die. I didn't mean for it to become this way, please believe me. The show the project should never have become a hope to others. How do other people know about it anyway? No, I... There has to be something. Something that lines say it. If Utopia is destroyed, every structure in here will begin to collapse and we're all buried inside rubble and darkness. Line, when you say every structure will be destroyed, does that mean including the portal locked? Yes. Does that include the seal to the earth portal? Hmm. Yes. Yes, it does. You're smart, Cassie. That means escape might be possible after all? If that's the case, then maybe we can. Oh no, I know what they're all thinking. No, no way, it's gonna be too risky. If the seal breaks, we can leave through the portal now. Yes, but you understand the gravity of your suggestion. If it fails, we won't even have a few years left to leave. Timing will be very tight. Once the command is entered, everything will begin breaking apart. To make matter worse, we only got one chance at this. You'll have to pray that the seal breaks before the, this tower falls. If this ri is this ri risk really worth it? Uh, he does sound incredibly risky. There's another way to break a seal. Even if we hit it real hard? No, the seal is just about the strongest thing in this world. If we don't do anything at all, then shapes will just be stuck here with no way out. Destroying Utopia is our chance to free all shapes. Even if it's scary, we have to try. Cassie, if we don't succeed, every shape dies. Can you live with the weight of that decision? Uh, I... It's not just about you, so... I don't think that is your decision to make. Sorry, Cass, I just need a moment to think. Me, me too. The captain of the ass needs to break. I just blurred out uh, the risky suggestion and I didn't even consider the feeling of others here. I'm sorry, Line is right. I swear to myself I really couldn't care less whatever you all decided. This project has gone on for too long now. It's just while it is true this world is collapsing. For the ships that don't know the truth until their last moments. Maybe they can still be happy. I'll be right back, Cassie. Uh-huh. Farewells are painful. That's why we're not going to say goodbye. Please trust us. Now I... It should be me who is asking if you all can trust me. Yeah. Scythe. Cassie! We have decided. So what do you both think? We decided that we'll need a giant megaphone. Uh-huh. To become a little honest for us to make the choice for all the shape people here will be presumed just on our power as well. So I've decided that it will be a best if we announce it to everyone here. And the majority vote that way. We'll let everyone down know the truth. And we'll ask them to gather here if they are in favor of trying to escape. We already spoke in the line and they are able to open the wall surrounding the tower to grant shapes entry. There should be enough paper plans to sh for shapes to fly in without having to crush in the walls like we did. If enough shapes show up, we'll go ahead with the escape plan. Then you go back to Earth and activate the command to destroy Utopia. And on our end, the moment we'll see the seal breaking apart, we'll all enter. I'll use all my strength to break the seal when it's awakening. Of course, we are knowing that there's a possibility that you know, show shape shows up here at all. But for me and August, at least, we personally would like to try escaping. After all, how could we possibly choose to stay here after knowing everything? If that's what you'll have chosen, I'll support every, everyone with everything I have. As the captain of the S, I can possibly give us some so easily. I guess you're still scared, aren't you? How did you know? If you're still uncertain about this, let me know, okay? You don't have to do this. It's true, I'm so kinda scared. But even if I'm scared knowing that this world will eventually end, nothing is scarier than that. So for better tomorrows, I'll be brave. 
So, I see you all have decided of what to do. Line, you were behind us? I've been here all along. Yeah, because you're a line. There's... <laughs> you're just like invincible. There's still something in my mind if you do escape. What will happen to Panceta? Panceta is still stuck in the abyss, aren't he? Not everyone can be safe, you know. The glass barrier, even if it starts breaking down, there will be will then be enough time to shape safe shapes in the abyss. Are you really okay with the Utopia being destroyed? After all, Utopia is still your precious creation. A creation that no longer provides happiness to the one who created it. Utopia once brought relief to me and many others, but things change. And suppose and so I suppose all we can do is going to do moving forward. We need a cool name for this operation. I don't know, do we really, really need a name for it? How about Operation Ass? I'm not even going to question the name of your merry group. I think something like Operation Escape will do just fine. Escape? Huh? What should they call it? Operation... Something. What if we just call it S? Operation S! I like it! You know what? What, what if we use our own name? <laughs> Speaking your own name? Operation Cassie? Oh no. Wait, I'm curious now. August? August? Oh, you want to name it after me? Uh, Indigo. What? You want to name it after me? <laughs> Cassie beat me! My name! Oh. Oh. Why do you all sound so disappointed? <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, that's not how you write cinnamon, isn't it? Oh, naming it after cinnamon. I know choice, but I'm fine with that ever. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Sparrow. Escape? A sensible choice. How about S? Uh, S S? Huh. Okay, there's also Panceta. Is that how you write it? Yeah, it doesn't do anything actually. How about Utopia? Okay, you know what? Cassie, Cassie, Cassie. Operation Cassie is funny as fuck. Because it has ass as well. Taking your own name? Operation Cassie? Not out of mind though. Anyway, how do we even begin finding a megaphone? Oh, worry not. My tower constantly has a built-in megaphone system. The tower is not that big anyway, so it should work. That's awfully convenient. I'm not complaining though. It's time for Operation Cassie to begin. Hello, citizens of the shape world. Ah, oh, crap. Was that all out? You're doing just fine. Sorry for making this announcement like this, but there's something important everyone needs to know. And then I talk about the truth of the shape world, about Earth, and everything in between. I know it sounds crazy, but please believe me. I mean, w what else to believe? There's a fucking giant megaphone in the air talking about it. After all, all these strange occurrences in the shape world are not coincidence. Although it's, it is risky. If you want to escape, please come to the tower. That's Cass. They really managed to find a way out. All of us. The way to escape is to bring forth the destruction of Utopia. Cinnamon, we are going back. This is our last and only chance. But it's so sudden. Even if we do make it back to Earth, what will become of us? I don't know, but we'll be together. If we are still alive, anything is possible. Don't worry, I'm with you. Look, I'm in the sky. After some time, many paper planes rose to the skies. I can't believe it, it's almost mesmerizing. Almost like... That night. 
That's so cool. They are coming after all. One by one, the shapes lay in and gather inside the tower. Oh, hey, guess it's been a while. Uh, police. You aren't here to. Nah, you're good. I'm not working anyway. I'm here because I heard your announcement. So, uh, sorry about the whole capturing you thing. Nah, it's not your fault. Thanks for coming, police. Oh, that's great. By the way, it, seem it seems like almost the whole town is here now. In the end, there's about 15 ships gathered in the tower. Oh, there's only a amount of people. Is that really the entire town? Pretty much, yeah. Honestly, didn't believe it at first. The weird, this weird ship spawning all this. They said they were human, so are we? I had a ship board is so boring anyway. True, this place is kind of sucks. We really, really lost our memories. Maybe they were so painful we decided to come here. Well, good thing I can remember then. What do you think Earth is like? The ship's gonna be looking among each other. Okay, it's time. Time for Operation Cassie to commence! Cassie, come here and step through the portal. Do you remember the command? Or I made some dollar or something? Never mind, let me write it down for you. Here, it's on this piece of paper, take it. Thanks. Remember, when you have reached Earth safely, tell the command to my robots. Say safe, Cass, we're counting on you. We'll definitely see you on the other side on Earth. Alright, here goes nothing. So we are going back to Earth. I step into the portal, engulfing me in its warm light. Oh, by the way, Nico, did you spare in cinnamon just now? No, I was about to ask if you saw them. I'm sure they are already on the way here. Are they? Chapter 5. Welcome home. Sun and Scythe mesh together into one and slowly can feel Melexi more. Moving through space but not walking. And then I open my eyes. Yawn! Hello there! Oh, oh, they are all so cute! Color returned to the world and I could feel the cold air against my skin. I feel like I've taken a lot of naps so far and this one was a particularly, particularly long one. How does Earth ending anyway? It's a snail, that's so cute. I sit on a fluffy bed with glass panel lower to, to its side. The fact that Cassie is still alive, and everyone's still alive, that, does it mean like the world is getting back to normal or something? You know, like wall -E, maybe the plant are dying? This bed encased in glass, there's people in them. They are all seem still in Utopia, it seems. A body nearby turns to a plan and nurse sweeps the floor del diligently. Uh huh. Fuck one of the bats in case in glass. Do nothing. Well, it doesn't hurt to try. I gave the bat next to me a good poke. The person inside lay as still as before, refusing to give up, I give it a good shake. Please wake up! Can you hear me? Sleepy time is over! Wee! No shake, please! The small bunnies can be over hiding behind the shelf nearby. Oh, bunnies. Wow, so cute! Hey, bunnies, no! Looking closer at the bodies, they're made of hard material and there's a roll underneath them. A robot? Hello! Another one! Your lines. I'm Sakura! Lance Robot Helper and Trusty Companion! Wee, pee pee. Wee, wee, poo poo. Sorry, the two aren't used to their language models yet. There, pee pee and poo poo. Robot. Pee pee and poo poo. Really? Robot helper just like me? They tell me what happened to you. As their big sister, I deeply apologize for all the trouble they've caused. What happened exactly? All I remember was an accident. The little ones were attempting to operate a truck for, for the potato field outside, but accidentally hit you. They are an older model, so unfortunately they lack the means to drive vehicles safely. Why are they the one that get told to drive? In a panic, they send you to, to, in, to Utopia in order to save you. Oh, Sorry. How adorable. Still, I believe that when training one day they'll learn to be better helpers. I 
never knew that Lion had such an herbal taste in his creation. I bet it's not why I'm here. I'm here to activate a common destroy Utopia. She shiver. Did it destroy? I'm at Lion. Need is going to collapse soon, and activating the common might be the only way to save everyone's side. I know it sounds crazy, but. Do you have a command? Yep, I got it. Uh, there's no choice here, are you? Wait, <laughs> wait, fuck. Fuck. O and E. I, I mean, maybe there's no difference, I guess. Let, let me try. Quick, quick, quick save, yeah. That doesn't sound right. I'll give you one more chance. If you're just messing with me, I'll, me I'll need you to leave. Oh, sorry, I think you get it wrong. Hey. I took another load the line gave me. It shall be... Lorem Ipsum Dolor Sit Amet Consectatur Aripsis Aripis Ting Elit Set the Eos Mod Tempor Insi Insididen Ut Labore et Dolore Magna Aliqua. What a mouthful. That is correct. That command is only known to line and myself. If you gave me the command, then that is all I need to know. Meh, Papa. It's only done. I don't need Gemini Relias and Girl from Cross Chest. And her while it stops glowing. Yes. It is done. The shutdown process has begun. I hope everyone can come to Earth safely. Papa home. Meanwhile in the ship world. Uh-huh. We're almost there, Cinnamon. Building trees and even sky begin to shake. It's already been collapsing. I've got to hurry, did you portal? Uh... Get tired, you can rest your head on my back if you want. Wow, careful with the flying rocks. Hopefully we can make it to the portal in time. No, Sparrow. Look at the tower. As well as Coaster and Coaster Tower, I see many ships still inside it. They are huddled together near the portal to Earth. No one has left through the portal yet. But everything is already falling apart. A flash of darkness swept across my mind. I don't want to die. Is the seal not breaking? I don't believe it. Sit tight, cinnamon. I'll go as fast as I can. Sparrow, thank you. I'm sorry. It's not me you have to say sorry to. It's Cass. No, I meant... Nothing. Just keep hitting it. R. I saw my strength, but it's not breaking, Indigo. The only thing that's breaking is my heart. Arr, why can't you give up? Everyone is trying their best to hit the seal with everything you've got. Perfect cracks up around the seal, but and yet it does not budge. The tower is gonna crumble. Oof, these feeble hands are not one for brute force. Stop complaining, line, just keep hitting. Another ship grabs line by the collar violently. It's all your fault. Why did you have to make this seal? Why did you have to try to trap us here? Us uh, stop! Now's not the time to settle grievance. H hey, chill, folks. Polly steps away and tries to calm down the other shapes. The tower is collapsing already. It's futile, it's futile. We're all gonna. Whoa, ah! Uh, I'm in the you hear that? Ah! Uh, a sun from above? Sparrow plops on the floor from the top opening of the tower. Uh, cough, cough. Sparrow, you made it! Where's Cinnamon? Goodness, how did you fall from the sky? Never mind that. Help us break the seal. Tower's gonna collapse in a second now. No, Cinnamon, they... In that moment, a loud crush reverberates through the entire tower. Something larger just crossed into the other side of the wall, creating a huge hole in it. The seal. It's broken. Not just that, the entire wall facing the portal is shattered too. Is that... The seal, it's broken! Another other side of the broken hole is... Cinnamon. Thank goodness it broke. Cinnamon! Before I could even reach out towards seeing, Cinnamon felt just like that. The seal is broken, everyone to Earth! Quick before the portal collapses, Cinnamon. No, I can't leave Cinnamon. Hey, it's dangerous there. Cinnamon fell. I can't. Let me go. We have to go, there's no time. N no. Hand softly text me back from the broken ledge. 
As the ship starts turning into portal, I'm shoved nearer and nearer to it. And further away from cinnamon. And then everything became fuzzy. I can no longer feel or hear anything. I... I can't... Some time ago... Everyone is thinking a seal with all their might, but it's no use. A seal not breaking? I don't believe it. Sit tight, cinnamon. I'll go as fast as I can. At this rate, no one will be able to escape. Sparrow, thank you. I'm sorry. It's not me you have to say sorry to its cast. No, I meant the seal is weakened, but it still needs much, a much greater force to be broken. Sorry, you'll have to help me pass on the message. Sorry, I can go with you. And sorry for the hard landing. Please have fun on Earth for the best of us, both of us. I promise. I'll definitely break a seal and everyone will return home. I'm so stupid. Happiness has always been right in front of me. So this time, I'll be the one to protect happiness. After all, you guys are more precious to me than this world. And then everything went blank. Where's everyone? I walk and walk until I could no longer feel, feel my feet anymore. I am getting sleepy. Back on Earth. Are you still not waking up? However, after an agonizing wait, people begin to stir in their beds. And one by one, they begin waking up. I walk along the room looking at each person taking in every move and sound. Yeah, on my head. Let me sleep a little longer. Oh, thank goodness. It worked after all. There. Is that line? Suddenly I hear a commotion on the other side of the room. Well, what? C calm down. Oh yeah, you yeah, you look exactly like what I thought you would look like. Another person lunch at the man in front of me. Is that line? He seems pretty disheveled and tired. Well, I guess he has been you that way for a long time. How did you even know I was lying? You and your silly scientist code. How else? You, you almost got us killed with a shoddy program. I. Oh, yeah, not like Papa. Baby and Papa huddled next to a line single, tugging at the fabric on his torso legs. Alright, stop everyone. Fighting isn't going to solve anything. Police? Another human appears, bringing the fight between Linda and your person. We're all here. We are all we have now, after all. Besides, we are the ones who initially agreed to enter Utopia. You can pin it all online. Um. Oh, you're Cassie, aren't you? I'm Polis. It's nice to officially meet you. Yes, it's nice to meet you. I can't believe it. After so long. It's been so long since I've talked to another human face to face like this. The agitated person tries to take another launch at line, but then falls to the ground. Oh, come on, you. Hold on to my shoulder. It can be easy to walk after being in bed for that long. Sorry, Cass. We'll catch up later. Y yeah, sure. Polis carries the stumbling human to an open bed at a breakneck speed. What's going on? Oh, hey, Cass, welcome to Earth again, I suppose. I guess everyone is a little, feeling a little facey after everything that's happened. It's my fault, overall. Well, it's clear that our team dynamic is not the best right now. How are you feeling, Cassie? I'm okay, just taking everything in. Shouldn't you be looking for your friends? Ah, the rest of the ass. They should be awake, too. My eyes wander in the room in search for a familiarity in a sea of unfamiliar faces. And in a moment... Cassie? Cassie, is that you? Y yes And there they are, the friends that I would have seen for the first time. I... Wait, who is who again? Uh, let me guess. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, the blonde one? The blonde one is... Oh, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, let me try to take this properly. Okay, the blonde one is August, the brown one is Indigo, and this one is Sparrow, the silver-haired one. Me, I'm August. It's nice to finally see you, Cassie. Same here. You're a lot shorter than I expected. Don't be rude, Indigo. Yeah, don't be rude, Indigo. It's our first official me meeting after all. What? What? Suddenly I'm... Now I'm the rude one? Ha ha ha. Didn't this happen last time as well? Indigo is Indigo after all. But for real, I'm glad to see that everyone made it back safely. 
I'm so happy. I... You can be our premise, Cassie. Thank you. We have finally assembled. For real this time. Ah. Cassie, I mean, we need to tell you what happened. Back in the shape world, and then they told me everything. About what, what happened while I was gone. About cinnamon. We talk and talk about many things. About everything we need to do since we're back on Earth. About our worries on how to survive the days ahead. But even at the world's end, we find each other smiling. We find each other happy. After all, after experiencing the end of two worlds, what else is there to lose? Finn. But, yeah, there's two people. At least, two people that we know. Someone still isn't here. That's not here. Behind the curtain, someone still sleeps. That's right, Cinnamon and Panceta still hasn't woken up. Wait, is this Cinnamon? Then where's Panceta? Cinnamon, I'm sorry. I watch as the tower slowly fades into distance. Panceta do mention there's a light back there. I'm falling and falling and falling. Lightly slowly fades as I descend into nothingness. Is this how Cassie felt when I... How is everyone doing on Earth now? Come to think of it, I never actually seen how everyone looks like in real life. Well, I can imagine. The friends who have shown me warmth, I hope you wake up to a better future. And then I had a long dream. Within the darkness, my mind wanders. Is this what emptiness feel like? And for a long time, I wonder. Whenever I felt panic rushing in my chest and loneliness overtaking me, I'll imagine your happy faces. And all will be okay. I am sorry, Cass. Cinnamon sacrifice is what let us come back here safely. No, it's not a sacrifice. Because Cinnamon is still alive. What do you mean to say? Now that you're back here, you can modify our program, can you? You mean you want me to find a way to save those who are still trapped? You're a genius, aren't you? You did it Utopia. So take some responsibility. It's not going to be easy. Even if I manage to salvage the program, we'll have to hope that their consciousness is still intact. Somehow. But you're right. It is my responsibility. As long as I'm alive, I'll keep working on it. No matter how long it takes, you have my promise. And my apologies. Thanks, Line. And so time passed as all of us acclimated back to life on Earth. Turns out that the facility used to be a large state-of-the-art technological research in institution that Line worked in. But ever since human life for space had been pretty much vacant. It had been pretty much vacant. It wasn't easy as food was running low, but with the help of everyone and Robert Bunnies, we were able to get back. Some people did eventually decide to leave and continue their adventure wandering this Earth. And as for the ass, we stayed behind to help everyone out. And also to help care for those people who are still stuck in darkness. As long as we keep looking ahead. That's that sends on shiver in my body. Then surely one day. All will be okay. Indeed. Hey, you're all awake now, huh? The end, for real this time. For real, for real. Thank you for playing. Ah, oh, wait, wait. Hello, hello. Ah. I'm a uh, kind of smart, the creator of this little story. Well, to be exact, I'm the robot sending in for my creator. I recently got some regrets to my model. Woohoo! Still in a color, but one day. Just popping in to say that thank you very much for paying. Yes, I know there's already a black screen with thank you text that you saw. But hey, can you, you can never have too many thanks, right? I put it there just because it looks cool. <laughs> I know. You know, the story started as a silly little short concept. But I had so much fun making it, I keep adding more and more in random bits. So it ended up being way longer and more categorical than anticipated, haha. <laughs> By the way, it also happens to be my birthday today. Oh, oh, happy birthday. I don't know what day is today. Yay! But did you know that every day can be your birthday too? As long as you wake up alive every day, then every day is a life day. And that's pretty much the same thing as birthday, yes? Yeah, indeed. 
at least that's what, that's what I think since I'm a robot. Whenever I'm powered up, it's my new birthday. Well, I'm hungry, so I gotta grab lunch now. Bye bye. Bye bye. There's colors now. And cows and tornadoes, which is dangerous. <sighs> That's cool. So yeah, I truly enjoy the story. It it is very what do you call it? Very interesting to read. Like that's why I keep reading it. Like I I, I just enjoy all the expression. Everything is just perfect. The music, the everything, the atmosphere. It it gives me the it really gives me the story a story that I want to read. The revelation that everything has ended and everything is just sad, melancholic, obviously. And then the way it finally rises up to this point of them escaping and the sacrifice thing, it, it's really cool as well. However, we still don't know what happened to Panzetta or the other who trapped there, but I guess uh, they got rescued, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, yes, that is all for the shapes of happiness. I also forgot to mention that the central theme of the story about hope, and happiness, and stuff like that, which is also excellent. I love it. But yeah, like I said, that's all. See you all later then in my next video. Stay happy. Bye bye.